Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Eliza P. I'm still in the St. Frangelico Cathedral. I just got up this elevator. Now, there's still, I think, more to discover back early on. And I'm probably going to have to go back in. And now I'm assuming this is going to cause decay. Yes, in fact, it is. I wonder if there's going to be a way to burn it like the previous pool. So we made it up here. There is an NPC that we need to talk to. Probably some other loot and possibly some notes around here. But let's see what uh, she has to say. Who is this? I'm surprised to see who's well alive. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Cecile, and I serve the Archbishop. I'm the only one left. Everyone's dead. From the petrification disease, or from the monsters. I didn't die, but my heart breaks more each day. Can you do me a kindness? Bring me the holy mark from the Archbishop's quarters. The Archbishop was a true saint. He was my savior. If I write his words into my heart, maybe it'll give me the strength to carry on. I can't die. But perhaps this can help me live again. Please, bring me the holy mark as quickly as you can. I can't die. Okay, that's that's all she has. She just has a quest for us. Her hand is all bandaged up. Okay, so we got the organ playing. We have a pool of decay that I don't really want to go into just yet. And I know that I have some more back early on in the cathedral to explore, but for now... What? What? What was there a pressure plate? What was it this right here? Oh, it's this right here. Okay. All right. Now I see that horrifying creature up there. So what if I just, oh. Not a horrifying creature, but rather... Oh. Ah, okay. Some sort of decay pustule. Are you going to allow me to get a rear fatal right here? Only just. Only just. I probably... Now, if I run under you, is it just going to pop? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, wow. That's so very slow, though. Kind of want to get you with an environmental kill. Oh, okay. So, tell you what. We didn't rest when I first found the Stargazer. And we have 4,200 ergo. And I have a court. So, we're actually going to make a quick trip back. Uh Oh, Hotel Krat. That's right. Because we have the... What Karat supply box to give to Polandina. So actually we have three good reasons to go back to the hotel. Leveling up the inventory from Polandina and filling in a P organ slot. And that would give what did I actually start putting it in? It wasn't pulse cells, it was the other one. I can't remember. Welcome to Hotel. Okay, add to the shop goods. This is a supply box. Officially approved by the city of Krat. I shall open it and add it to the hotel shop. Many thanks, good sir. Oh, even gave me a vivid ergo. Very nice. And what do you now... Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So, just a couple of Vanini's urgent repair tools. I haven't needed those. Unlimited hidden moonstones at only 300 each. Two dark moon crescents. And a bright red apple. And that's part of my recollect. I'm gonna buy that. Okay, I have I have some plans here. Let's see. We're gonna start selling a bunch of this stuff. Alright, and now we are going to purchase the apple. Uh, 
I'm debating. That's 3,100. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And Moonstones, I could, oh, I could buy up to 17. They're so cheap. They're so cheap. Let's buy 10. And then actually, before we go and level up, we might not end up leveling up at all. Oh, we could also I know my way around. craft or upgrade or modify one of our Legion arms. But let's upgrade... I mean, this is a nice big jump. What else, though? The axe is fun. Maybe the salamander? That could be fun. Booster Glaive is fun, too. I haven't touched the rapier in so long. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do both of these to plus three. And now, now you require Crescents. Okay. I'm going to do that one as well. Okay. And this one we'll just do two times. There we go. So at least we have a Fire Elemental. And now we don't really have enough to level. So that's, that's a thing. But let's go over here. Let us modify a Legion Arm. Don't I have a Legion Caliber? No. No, I don't. So what? Oh. Oh, this is actually to craft a new one. Right. Okay, so do we want... Pandemonium? Seems like good crowd control. I love the idea of Aegis. I think I want to try that out. That sounds fun. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh, let's actually try it out. So let's switch from Flamberge, even though I love it, to Aegis. That seems really cool. And since we're going to bypass Sophia... Now, there's also another NPC that I haven't seen in the hotel, or at least I haven't paid attention to. There's a cat. There's a cat. Now, this comes from a couple places. Number one, the email that we got from Neo... Neo was an uh, Ico Partners, really Ico Partners, had kind of a little cheat sheet for people playing the game, content creators, and it mentioned something about a cat, but also blind playthroughs. I will try to remember to put a link in the description of this video. Uh, he had asked me on Discord, by the way, also in the description, you should join our Discord. He asked me if I've been able to interact with the cat, and I said, what cat? I had no idea. So we were, that's right, Rising Dodge. Yeah, and Abel's dodging went on the ground. Now, we've been having a discussion in... Discord about what belongs locked behind a skill system and what doesn't. And I am of the mind to agree that this probably should be an open ability. It shouldn't be locked behind the Pyrgan. And especially when the fact you need one, two, three, four, you need six courts just to unlock this. That could be a bit much. Now, what do we want to put there? Ooh. Okay, I can't equip one of those. All cell recovery could be really, really good. I and mean, I could still use these level ones. These aren't necessarily better. Um, I'm thinking... Pulse cell recovery. Yep, there we go. So now we have rising dodge. Enables dodging when on the ground. So if I get completely flattened, like I was with Fuoco several times. I should be able to then dodge away from his potential follow-up attack uh, super quick. Let's just do a quick lap and there's the kitty right here! Investigate. Oh. Not friendly. Interesting. I wonder if maybe you need a certain... Costume? Did I buy the apple, by the way? I did. That's going to play a part, isn't it? That apple. We'll take a look at the map at the Stargazer just to see if that is anywhere showing up yet. Nope. Okay. Fair enough. All right, back to the library.
Disruption occurs when disruption damage builds up. When it fills up, your character will die instantly. Oh, okay, disruption. Very bad. Don't let that happen. No Ted. Also, I feel like I would be silly not to run in here and just see if there's anything you can do, but it looks like we're probably gonna open that up from the other side. Okay. That will go down over time, not worried about that. And at least now we can see the fairly obvious button. Okay, just rush. Rear fatal with the wonderful, wonderful... Oh, let's back up here. Uh, invincibility frames, that's the word I was going for. I want to actually trigger this. Or not. Okay. Do I want to actually use my new legion arm? Yes. <laughs> that's so cool. Wait, why am I... Am I heavy? Am I heavy? Oh, I am heavy, aren't I? I am. Oh, no. Did you just kill yourself? <laughs> so, is it the Legion arm? Is that why? How heavy is it? 12.4, and I can't take it off. That's unfortunate. Uh, well, we could put the weight back on, and that might change it. Yes, perfect. Okay. Uh, I like the Aegis. Might be heavy on the consumption. Yeah, I thought as much. Okay, just run under. I see I can drop down, but I don't think I want to do that just yet. You, this way. Come to me. Okay, so the upgrade didn't give me enough to one-shot, and that's alright. Okay, trigger, run away. Do I want to drop down and see what's down there? I'm trying to see what I can glean from it. That's a pretty far drop, though. Yeah, I don't trust this <laughs> winding staircase. These bear traps? Are they traps at all? Or am I just walking into some sort of creature's lair? Okay, trigger this. Can I get a rear fatal on you? Yes, I can. Oh, except I didn't. Was I just able to... I was just able to use the Patient Smash without full three bars? That's interesting. Do I want to... I kind of want to smash that, but I don't really have a valid reason to. Oh, something to investigate here. Aha! There's the Brazier. Well, that's a different Decay Swamp and or Decay Pool. This is why the cathedral was built and remembered. Pilgrims worship the merciful angel. Crescent moonstone, excellent. Perfect. Back up, back up. All right, we're good. This looks like maybe I need to circle back around. I can't target that. There is the ladder there. Oh, shoot, but there is a way through. Urgh. There's there's kind of a lot to see, huh? Tell you what, I think I should be smart for once. Let's get rid of the cat potion. Put on the resistance module the correct thing this time. And let's go, 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 go. Build-up's not too bad. Ooh! 
let's get oh no 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 oh shoot decay got us worth it decay is not bad damage over time in fact i'm just gonna let it happen uh in fact i'm gonna run back out here just to see if i missed anything Nope, I do not believe so. Oh, weapon durability. Holy cow. Why is that gone down so... Oh, shoot, is that what Decay does also? Ooh, that could be. Okay. Oh! Um, I cannot move. Why was I stuck in the guarding animation? That was weird. That's a problem. That guy's tough. <laughs> At least he's alone. So let's let's use the Aegis. I like that. Let's do it again. Oh, shoot. What? Oh, it has to recharge. I see it. Okay. Ready, set... Back up. I kind of want to use... Aegis again. Okay, back up. Oh, I don't have enough for another Aegis, so don't try to use it. Ready? Good. Back up. Heal. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Oh, come on, charge. No. Uh. We got the kill. We did get the... Ooh, Hidden Moonstone, Star Fragment, Attribute, Purification, Ampule, meaning that guy's not coming back. That's good. Can I climb this? Oh, I should be able to... It's a ladder. Literally what they're for. Okay, stairs going that way. Main stairs going this way. Are they going... Or actually, elevator. Up or down? Up or down? Oh, nope. I was hoping for down. Not gonna lie. Aegis is a really, really cool Legion arm. But the cooldown, I wish I was prepared for that. I can't find the way out. Monsters everywhere. I need to grab my share and leave. Please be friendly. Look at you. Oh, we've seen you in the splash screens. Are we cool? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's odd. I thought I was the only one with a sound mind here. I'm sure I don't need to introduce myself. Note these golden wings. Yes, you guessed it. You don't know who I am. Preposterous. Everyone in Kratz has heard of me. Do you live under a rock? I'm Alidoro the Hound. Treasure hunter extraordinaire. Yes, yes, it's a nickname. I ditched my real name in the past. I'm looking for other survivors of this disaster, but it's uh, been a lonely search, and there's danger around every corner. Do you know of a place where I can take refuge? Preferably someplace clean and comfortable, you know, civilized. Oh no! <gasps> Benini works at Hotel Crot. Oh shoot! I have to pick. <gasps> Benini works. Suits so just fine. Benini works. I didn't give that place much thought. That's where the puppets are being made, after all. But I heard tell of a shelter there as well. With no first-hand knowledge, I suppose I have to trust you. I have a lot of searching ahead of me, so why don't I lighten my load? Consider this an act of charity. A thank you gift. Take it. Air bracelet. That's pretty good. The ergo is whispering. So, I was really afraid to send him to Hotel Crowd. Oh, look at the Ferris wheel in the background. Uh, he's got a lot of weaponry. 
kind of made me a little nervous. Since you're so helpful, I'll give you a peek at my collection. Show me what you're worthy of. Oh, you have other things to sell? I don't have much in the way of ergo. About this collection. As a descendant of aristocrats, the very best families, I have a duty to the common people. I live my life fulfilling that duty. And part of that duty is ensuring these items are returned to their rightful owners. What I'm showing you is just a portion of the collection. If you come to the refuge, we'll be able to continue our confabulation. Until then, remember this hound when golden wings shine. Oh, oh! Rare Ergo. I have three of these. Kill strong enemies to gain rare Ergo. Alidoro is a treasure hunter who collects this rare Ergo. You can exchange it for Alidoro's precious weapons or amulets. <gasps> oh my. Oh no. So we're going to have to pick. Okay. Seven coil spring sword. <laughs> that is so. Seven explosions or guard parry. Cannot disassemble. Okay. Seven explosions. A strong downward blow. When you cut downward, multiple explosions will deal damage to the enemies in front of you. And then it has guard parry. A precious seven coil spring sword that was stored in the workshop tower. Even Geppetto could not replicate this fine masterpiece. Seven numbers or octothorps or sharps, number signs, whatever you want to call them, on seven blades. The text that remained engraved on the eastern relic inspired the workshop technicians to make a masterpiece for this generation. And this is with the parade leaders, ergo, or I can get Dancing One's amulet. Enables dodging even with low stamina. Hey, that's pretty cool. Best parade is never swayed by any obstruction. One must be prepared to make a great effort to put on a magnificent show. Then we have etiquette. Is that an umbrella? Or just a cane, perhaps? This is broken hero. Stingle stab or absolute counterattack. Look at the technique scaling in A. All right. So a single stra stab, big forward piercing attack, or absolute counterattack perfectly block the enemy's attack temporarily. Right after a successful guard, use Fable Art to trigger an extra attack. Self-defense weapon adored by the leader of the bastards. It can be disguised as an umbrella, but it bears its teeth in the moment of attack. Social dignity can be seen not only in the ballroom, but also on the battlefield. The leader of the bastards did not lose his poise on either stage. Or we get... The Extreme Modification Amulet increases weapon attack in proportion to number of Fable slots. Hmm. So the more Fable slots you have, the higher your weapon damage, I guess? The Scrapped Watchman was an experimental piece modified to the extreme to test how far Kratz engineering skills could go. The result was impressive, but ultimately came at a cost. Or Holy Sword of the Ark. Mm-hmm. <laughs> King Flames Ergo. I like it. I like it a lot. Patient Smash and Alter. We know what Patient Smash is. Alter. Transform the length of the handle. After transforming, stamina consumption is reduced temporarily. Fascinating. The Arc Sanctus's weapon was reproduced for puppet use, and it made a grand appearance at Krat events. However, its legendary holiness could not be reproduced. This is a special great sword that was lying asleep in the St. Frangelico Cathedral. Oh, it actually transforms between a special great sword and a glaive. That's very cool. Ooh, conquering amulet. That's a really heavy amulet. Are they all heavy? I guess they all are very heavy. Upon a successful perfect guard, temporarily increased damage inflicted by weapon attack. The puppet heads to the place where fire, electricity, and acid flow. It must not be withstood, but overcome and passed. Oh, that's tough. I really think I like this one. I'm getting that. Um, this is actually a dagger. Err. I don't know. I do like the idea of Fable Slots getting me more damage, and I love the the Holy Sword of the Ark. But I also like the Conquering Amulet a lot. I just don't know what the increase in damage is, but it'd be more fun to see the weapon, right? Yeah, all right. Let's do that. Since you're so helpful, I'll... 
I don't know if I will be able to get more Ergo, or you just have to wait for New Game Plus. If there is a New Game Plus, I'm not even honestly sure. So right now, my Pipe Wrench is doing 227 damage. This is doing... Ooh, 70 down, 128 down, 57 down. That's not that bad. But we've got at least... Oh, come on. How cool is that? That is just so, so heckin' cool. All right. So I think he's going to head back to Vinini Works. That's at least where I told him to go. Now, that winding staircase that we just saw, and definitely some other paths I need to explore. That is a cool-looking weapon. I don't know how to make the little teeth go out unless that's just during the seven explosions. I actually thought that maybe he'd uh, want an apple, you know? <laughs> yeah, okay. Shouldn't have scared me like it did. That's a quick follow-up. R1, though. I like that. That actually came very, very quick. Okay, so this is how I get this item right here. Emergency protection. Not entirely necessary. I haven't actually used any of those yet. What L? Okay. There's the brazier. Oh shoot! That was uh, that was me not paying attention. Surprise, surprise. What is this gonna uncover? Gotta love that it's just absolute instantaneous. Is this above the library? Yes, it is. There's the Stargazer. Is there a shortcut? Is there something I can kick down or something? No? Did that burn that? It did burn that. Oh, is that a short? That might actually be a shortcut. So if I drop... Is that something that will now open? Please say it does. Shoot. <laughs> Maybe from the other side? It's got to, right? I don't want to rest because that's going to respawn everything. And right now, everything is dead. Haven't dropped down yet. Despite really, really wanting to. I actually have to wrap up here soon. We might go a couple minutes over just to see what else I can get done in this short amount of time. Okay, so now we're here. We can't... Oh, shoot. Is that a Crack's Calling right there? That is, isn't it? That's a Crack's Calling, meaning... We're at a boss. I was not quite expecting that. And I know I need to go back and explore... Okay, let's go up here. Archbishop's Diary. Oh! Cecil, Cecile, unwell again. Today, the Adams brothers found her standing like one of the dead at the edge of a cliff and brought her back. If it's mild sleepwalking, it's fine. But I'm worried it's her old blood compulsiveness again. I know about her strong beliefs better than anyone else, so it's really too bad. God will be glad with the atoned. Perhaps I should ask her for atonement for visiting the Isle of Alchemists. I have the relic in my hand, thanks to Cecil. Cecile, is what I should say. I won't let those bastards ruin Krat anymore. This will purify the city. Maybe it was a mistake to accept those guys from the beginning. This disaster was divine judgment. They should have been turned away all those 30 years ago. But this will be the end. Krat is a city blessed by God, and I, Andreas, will come to its rescue. Why? me. Oof. Oh. Oh. 
what is just pulsating? There we go. The Holy Mark. That is what she was looking for. Let's definitely take a look at what that is before we give it to her. It is the Archbish Archbishop's item that Cecile wanted to see in her last moment. The Archbishop was such a man of character that they called him the Saint of Crot. They say his moral influence made even murderers repent before God. Union Strengthening Frame. Uh, the frame is... Not that one. It's the very first one. Okay. So it is heavier and it's 20% physical damage reduction. It wouldn't make me heavy, so why not? Those are kind of boring, huh? All those little improvements, if you will. They're just kind of straight upgrades almost all the time. Ah, there is a... Oh, there's a pulley here. Perfect. So let's go ahead and open this. That is a nice run back to the Stargazer. I like that. Oh, jeez. And sing praise for a new saint has arrived. I, Saint Andreas, will consecrate this land. There's the cracks calling, meaning that's a boss. And I am not... I'm not prepared. We'll go take a look at it. We'll go see what it is, see if it's that crazy snake-like creature from the beginning. But first, Cecile wanted the Archbishop's mark, and I have it for her. Oh, thank you. Just seeing the Archbishop's holy mark renews my spirit. It's a reminder of the quiet power of faith. I'll remember this forever, Stalker. Attribute resistance sample, that's all, that, what, that's it? A reminder of the quiet thank you <laughs> i don't i don't need that but all right let's go see what this boss is i'm gonna go in with very very little expectation no expectation really uh, i mean fuoko took me many 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 attempts so let's see what's behind <laughs> this door Those slashes on the painting didn't give me a lot of hope. Oh, shoot. Is this the Archbishop? Oh good, it chose not to fight me. Oh, it changed its mind. Wait. This isn't even it. What is this thing? Good lord, that's hideous. Oh my word. Okay, this is Andreas. Oh! All right. That's not a lot of damage, huh? That's funny. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I just wanted to see it. Uh, it's fascinating. And we might... Who knows? Who knows how long I'm going to be here? That was one attempt with an unupgraded weapon. I should probably put some 
moonstones into this if I want to use it. Otherwise, I can try one of the other new ones. Uh, or maybe we just try and set it on fire. Who knows? But that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying, and I will see you next time.